Hey everyone! So we have a very special video today. This is one that's very close to my heart. We are doing a different kind of puzzle haul. In this box that I have not opened yet are puzzles from my past. And I'm talking like little, little, little kid past. I haven't opened it yet. I can see a couple on the top that bring back some memories, but let's bust this open and see what we got. Hey everyone! Okay, so today we are going to bust open a blast from my past. Mom had this stored away in her attic. It is puzzles from my childhood. So we're going to have a different kind of puzzle haul, and I am going to open this and see what she brought for me. I have some very special plans for some of these, if some of them are what I think they are. Um, and you guys are going to get to see an extremely special puzzle. So let's bust this bag open. All right, you guys, so right off the hop, not even with the grand finale, we talk about this one a bit on, in some of the older videos. This is the deer puzzle. This little 63-piece thing is what started it all. This was the first puzzle that I ever did by myself at my grandma's house at the age of like two and a half. I don't know what made me do it. I guess maybe I thought the deer was cute or something. I mean, I still do. Um, but yeah, I just put it together and like, it was just, it was something I did all by myself. The pieces are actually still in really good condition considering how old this thing is. Do you have the close up kit? All right, so I'll give you a little close up. It's a little shocking. Oh, I see that. Ready? Yeah. So here is the box, well, the top of the box. Look at that cute little deer. And all that green. Oh my god, could you imagine that like a thousand piece puzzle or something? That would just be blurry and yucky. Alright, now here are the pieces themselves. So they're in a Ziploc baggie for protection. But like, seriously though, they're actually... Oh no. Ah. <laughs> like they're actually... It's like, it's like you're... <laughs> in pretty good condition. Look at those things. Like they're not too much wear and tear really for what they could have. This would take like two minutes now. <laughs> you see pieces that, that go together. <laughs> Can't help myself. Must must assemble. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, that brings back memories. So this is the very first puzzle I ever did, minus like some of those little kitty videos, the kitty, um, kitty puzzle type things, like with the foam letters and things like that. All right, well, that was a great way to start. And a strawberry shortcake puzzle. So this actually comes in one of those collectible tin things. Um, so back in the day when I would do a bunch of puzzles, I would lay out a puzzle carpet. And I would just take all my puzzles and I would just spend all afternoon doing them until the hall was full. Because that was what I did. You know, as a kid, I was at fun and amusement. Puzzles were just my thing. Oh, oh. oh I see there's a clip. <laughs> Childproof. Oh wow, actually these pieces are like brand new. Holy smokes, these things have stood the test of time. And I can tell you I would have done this puzzle like a lot. Holy smokes. They're like wow. You wouldn't know that someone had ever done this puzzle. Oh. So this one is a hundred pieces. Not quite as special as the deer puzzle, but yes. This is the giraffe puzzle! Oh my goodness, you guys! Oh, 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 okay. So, this is like a super old puzzle that you can do two ways. So there's numbers on the front or letters on the back, depending on how you want to do this. And it's a great way to teach kids the alphabet or their numbers or whatever you want to teach them, really. I would do this thing religiously. Oh my goodness. Ah, it's the giraffe puzzle. Oh. Oh, I don't even care. Oh, this one needs to go together. Where's B? Where's B? I need B. Ah. Ah, apparently I don't know my alphabet, friends. <laughs> oh, there's two, so two would be B. Okay. Phew! Okay. 
Ah, it's like getting to be a little kid again. Just depends on how the lights go together. put the legs together okay it doesn't look quite right like I, I can't remember if the pieces were meant to fit weird trust the letters you also have to remember that this is like an old old wooden puzzle <laughs> change. <laughs> giraffe in there properly. Can you not just flip the yellow one up? Then the yellow's going to be upside down though. Oh baby, oh crap, look at you go. Apparently you can do a puzzle. Oh. I couldn't see the body of the giraffe. I was like, well, and then I was starting to be like, am I missing a letter? There it goes. Okay. It's a giraffe. <laughs> oh, see, 3D puzzles are still hard for me. It doesn't matter if it's a children's puzzle or not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I can pick this one up, you guys. I'm sorry. It's going to have to be a close up cam. It's well, like the, it's right. like the old wooden puzzles. They're uh, like the wooden puzzle from Puzzle City. The pieces don't fit perfectly. Look at how cute he is. Look at how cute. It doesn't matter how old I am, this little bit apparently is hard. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh, okay, so we have the giraffe puzzle. We have this one I've had for a really long time. So this little guy, it's got to be like 26 pieces or something. I don't even think it's listed on here. But it's a Precious Moments Noah's Ark puzzle. It is so cute and so little. I've had this thing forever, probably since I was like a baby. Um, oh, how are so the pieces on this one are a little worse for the wear, but you can still see everything on them. So we'll flip to the close-up cam. So that's the full picture when it's in the tin. So cute. I've always liked little baby animals. That hasn't changed. And then these are some of the pieces. So a little faded over time. Some of them are missing their nubs and things, but hey, when it's assembled, you can still see the full picture 
and it's still so cute. Look at all the little animal faces. I could just stay here all day and do children's puzzles, but I think Casey would kill me. <laughs> like, you were supposed to make this short! Well, I can't help it. I wanted to put them together. <laughs> one day. We'll do them all one day. We'll do a live or something and put them all together. That's on there. Totally secure. Not one of these pieces. Oh, I see some really cute ones. Alrighty, so this one, this is a little less special, but still nonetheless special. So I got this from a teacher at school when I was younger. It's a Canada puzzle with all kinds of little shapes on it. I've actually tried to look for one in a higher piece count. What? What? You got it in school when you were younger. Well, you wouldn't have got it when you were older. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. A teacher might give you a hundred piece puzzle and be like, here, this seems achievable for you. <laughs> I'm just saying we were all younger when we <laughs> All right, well, for me, it doesn't feel like it was that long ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're 80. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, you brought that one on yourself. <laughs> um, anyways, probably best to do a close-up cam with this one, you guys, so you can see, like, the cute little images and things on them, because they're pretty small. So this is the Canada puzzle, and in each province or territory, you get some little things representing what you might find there. All the things about Canada and Ontario, there's a hockey player, there's like that Michelin man type snowman thing that I know you can find in Quebec or whatever, I think, anyways. <laughs> um, there's a Viking ship, because why not? Pull back just a little bit, and it will focus better. There. And then maybe tilt it, to, like tilt the puzzle towards the oh. yeah, yeah, There you go. Yay! Much better! Yay, not blurry. Not as blurry. <laughs> not as blurry. <laughs> I have to put that one in the pile upside down because as you can see, I did not know how to open puzzles as a child. That has not changed as an adult. When they're like this, they're hard to open. You use the force method. <laughs> All right, you guys. So moving on to some things that I kind of want to do as a lie because I think this would be funny. Look at this thing. It's animal pegs. So you knock the little animal shapes out and you just put them together by pegs. So this is very clearly like a little kid one that I've had for a while. But I thought it would be fun to do a live where I'm blindfolded and Casey can't help me. I got to do it by feel as well as the comments that you guys say. So you guys have to kind of direct the pieces if I get stuck. This would be a cool one for that. This would probably be super easy. We would have to do those too. But nonetheless, I would want to include that one because it's special. I remember doing that one. And this is a little piggy. So I remember these guys a little bit less, but I still kind of remember doing them. So they're, they're just like a regular tray puzzle. So when you knock all the pieces out, the border stays and all that. Great for little kids so that they can have a place to start. They essentially already have the border done for them. And then they get a border within the border and like two middle pieces. So, hey, here's a puzzle for you. <laughs> I found one. There you go. There you go. So we get a cute little piggy. We got a cookie monster one. I think I remember this one more than the pig. And I see a little lamb in here. This one I remember the most. I remember doing this one even as I got older. Because for whatever reason, I really liked it. Probably the fact that there's animals on it. And you know, y'all know how I feel about animals. Oh, this one would be funny for the live, too. Can I solve a numbers puzzle blindfolded? Nope. <laughs> wow, thanks for the faith. I feel like the six and the nine would be extreme, would be the catch. They would be the interesting one. But yeah, um, so this is my foam letters puzzle, from, numbers puzzle from when I was a kid. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> you just pop all the foam numbers out, which I'm realizing now is apparently probably much harder than putting them in, because this is very time consuming. <laughs> um, Let me saw how well you did with the letters. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's not my fault. Body of the giraffe was confusing, okay? All right, so let's see if I can do numbers better than letters. It helps that, you know, I have the outline, so, like, I don't have to see where they're going to go. Oh, come on, like, six and nine are easy. Well, that makes me question. They are interchangeable, so, like, it can't trick me. I guess it just depends on what order you would prefer the colors in. And there we go, you guys. I know my numbers. Barely. <laughs> you barely. <laughs> All right, you guys. 
that's it for me this time around. We will probably do a live sometime soon. We'll let you know a date as soon as we can. Maybe we'll try and do the giraffe puzzle blind. That would be interesting. <laughs> I couldn't do it with my eyes. How could I do it without? Thanks for watching, you guys, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.